Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with the Ortur Laser Master Pro 2. Friends, it's time for some first cuts, so let's get cracking. All right, friends, so the first thing you need to do is make sure you have light burn. Uh, you can use other tools, but I prefer light burn. I have worked with it. You can see it comes with a free trial. That is what I'm using at this moment. It is fully functioning, so that is one awesome thing about it. This next part of the video will show you how I connected it. I've already done that ahead of time. This is a day later. All right, so I have plugged it in via USB. I've got the laptop in place, and I told it to search. And lo and behold, it found our laser. How cool is that? I changed the name to Laser Master Pro 2, and it does already have the correct 400 by 400, so I'm just gonna press enter. It is at the front left. Real quickly, just confirm it. As you can tell, it is at the front left, which is what it expects. And let's click finish. A important thing to note, in order to get this fire button, you need to click on the edit and you need to click on the device settings. And then on device setting, you need to enable laser fire button. Once you do that, you will need to close Lightburn and relaunch it so you have access to that so you can focus your laser. Uh, this is the 400 by 400 bed. And right now I'd like to make a real cool keychain with you. So the first thing I'm gonna do is click on the text and I'm gonna click out here, I'm gonna pick my words. Today I'm gonna to make one for the Red Wings, so I'm gonna put hashtag LGRW. Let's go Red Wings. I'm gonna drag this a little bit up and over. Notice when you do use light burn, you need to grab right on the line. If you select something and grab close to it, which is what I do in Tinkercad all the time, it does not work. When you're on your item, you can pick your font. I'm gonna go see if I can find something I think is pretty cool. Let's see, how about this? And then real quickly, I wanna check its measurements. Right now it's 74. I'm gonna make it a little smaller so that it fits on my plastic keychain blank. I've got these blanks from a different project and uh, I use them in my classroom, so this is a great project for my classroom. I'm gonna click on the circle tool and I'm gonna hold down shift. Notice it stays a complete circle when you do that. Right now I made it uh, 63 I only want it to be 5 so I'm gonna press enter and it snaps to that size I'm gonna zoom in and grab that shape <laughs> oops uh, control Z is undo I'm gonna grab that shape with this tool once again you cannot grab the middle you've got to be right on the line roll the wheel to move it back and it zooms where you've got the arrow so if I move the arrow here it moves there so on and so forth as you get it lined up so I want to make a keychain where it's going to say, let's go Red Wings, and I'm going to cut out the hole. Now to cut the hole on this, I've done some fiddling, and I've got this red setting. When you click the red setting, it shows you that it is a line. I've got a speed of 800, a power of 80. It's going to do eight passes to cut through this tiny piece of plastic. I want my words to be shaded in. I came out on number 29 and set this setting while I was playing. It's going to be one pass, speed of a thousand, and a power of 25 max 15 min, and it's going to do the fill plus the line. So you can set these custom settings to be anything you want. I keep adjust them as I get closer and closer to my project. I have also went to start from current position, so I move the laser where I want it to start, and then I want the origin to be the bottom left because that's how this laser works. All right, friends, so let me walk you through the steps. Uh, powered on like this. You can see I've got a piece of cardboard under here because I don't want to cut into my workbench. So they'll see, you'll see marks where I'm cutting through as I'm finding the right power because uh, it does take a lot of guess and check to get these perfect. This is what the little blank looks like. It's got plastic film on it. It's two millimeters thick. And then I'm gonna just set it right out so you can see it while it is running. I'm going to move the laser over using the control panel in the machine. So when you switch from cuts to move, you can tap the arrow and the laser will move to the next spot. Notice if your laser doesn't, it might be on the wrong COM port. I just switched mine to COM port 3. 
Now I'm back in control of my laser and it'll move to the locations. If you hold shift, it goes 10 times further. So I'm gonna do one shift up. So now I'm close to the plastic. I'm going to remove this and I want you to pulse the laser, fire it. So as you can see, I tap that, it fires and you don't wanna look at that. So you do notice I have my glasses on and now I'm going to keep nudging it to the correct location. Once again, I'll hit fire and I've got it set at 2% so I'm not cutting in. And fire and nudge and nudge. So I'm going to the top corner of this. That's how I use it with my other laser. So I've got to adjust and go to the bottom corner so I got my head right. So that's real close. While it's still on, I'm gonna do control up and control up. Right now I am on the edge of my shape. I'm going to shut off the laser and then I'm going to hit frame. This is the square button and it traces and I see if it's going to fit on my design. So that seemed close but not quite. So I'm going to make the words Let's Grow Red Wing a little bit shorter. And now I'm going to hit frame again. And I think that's going to fit. So now I replace my lens. Now I already dialed in the calibration. I'll show you that in another video. But with my glasses on, I'm going to put them back on now because it's time to go. I'm going to hit start and let's make ourselves a keychain. So friends, that is your diode laser. Now I am in the garage. Um, you do not want to do this in your house. Uh, you do want to have some sort of vent. So I've got doors open and I've got windows open. But you can see immediately this laser is burning off the letters of the Let's Go Red Wings I created. So sit back, relax, and watch, and we'll make this into a video in a few minutes. Alrighty friends, so there we have it. Finished keychain. Check it out. Let's go Red Wings. And with a gentle push, the uh, <laughs> little hole falls out of there. There we go. How sweet is that? Now this was material I bought for an engraving machine back in the late 90s. Uh, it was a Cam 2 engraver, but this is so much more fun because I've got lots of fonts and as you can see, it cuts really darn fast and students get to take home a sweet keychain. So friends, I bought this on Amazon for a little more than 550 bucks. The bonus of that was that it was here in about two days. You can also visit madethebest.com. There will be a link in the description. You can also buy it from madethebest.com. If you look below, there will be a link in the description. Right now it's about 470 bucks before shipping. They calculate that after you put it in the cart, so I'm not exactly sure what it is. But it does give you another option for a laser that, as you can see, works pretty darn well. Friends, this is just project one, so make sure you stay tuned for the projects that are coming soon. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day